Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trunks channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to migrate Windows 10 VMware Virtual Machine to Proxmox here in 2022. So some of the first things that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prepare the guest for migration. And to prepare our Windows 10 guest for migration is just one step. You will need to execute the file merge IDE dot reg. That's the registry editing file for respectfully to um, be able to run this drive in IDE mode. So I'm going to go ahead and run that registry entry. It's going to ask you if you want to run this file, say yes. It's going to ask you that again. And then just do all the yeses all the way through it when these screens come up. And then the, this edit has been successfully ran. Next, we're going to shut down the VM. And this is in preparation for copying it over to Proxmox server. All right, so you're going to need to download PuTTY. PuTTY is a SSH Telnet client developed originally for the Windows platform. It's open source and it's available with source code and it's developed and supported by a group of volunteers. Also, you're going to need WinSCP. WinSCP is a popular SFTP client for Microsoft Windows, copy between local files and your computer to remote servers using FTP via various modes. We're gonna have to upload the VMDK to Proxmox. So what you wanna do is with SCP, log into your Proxmox and navigate to your directory, Verilog VZ images, your VM directory. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And as you notice, I'm gonna create a new folder called 109 for the new virtual machine that I'm creating. I haven't created this virtual machine yet, but I know the next number is gonna be 109 or whatever one I can assign to it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to navigate to the folder that contains the Windows 10 installation that's done on VMware, find the VMDK file, and then we're gonna upload it into that new directory that I created. Make sure everything's in the right place and we're gonna start the upload process. It's gonna take a while to upload. So give it a minute, be patient with it. I have sped up this process so that we could see it, but not in real time, but you can see how it all happens. Okay. And this is very important because we're actually import like we're gonna need to do this step. We need to move this machine, this VM DK file that we created to the server in order to process it with the Proxmox software. All right, so we're almost complete. It's going to take a finish, a few minutes to finish up. Okay. Now that we have our file on the server, we're going to do some things. We're going to rename the VMDK file. We're going to rename it as vm 109 disk 0bmdk Replace the 109 with your number, and I did it on Notepad, and then we're just going to copy it and paste the new this name from Notepad into WinSCP, or the file. Next, we're going to create MVM. We're going to create the VM in Proxmox. With Proxmox, we'll create the machine 109 as Windows 10. Okay, so we click create the VM. 
And then we would name it as we wish. In this case, I would name it Windows 10 4. It's my fourth installation of Windows 10. And then we are going to not use any media. Click Next. Before you do that, make sure you have the, the operating system set correctly. Then we'll click Next. And then I won't mess with the BIOS for right now, but we may need to change that later to get this to boot properly. So I'm going to change the disk drive size to a five gigabytes more than what I originally had. You just need to, it just needs to be a little bit more than what we had. Okay. Then I'm going to do the CPU. I'm going to set it up to have two sockets and four cores. The number of sockets is the amount of processors that cannot exceed the amount of processors which I have. The memory is going to be two gigs. We don't need much to run it, so this will be satisfactory. The network, click on that. We don't need to do anything for that. We're just going to bridge it to the current network device for our server. Okay. So everything's set. All we want to do now is we want to confirm that everything is correct in our confirm window. And we want to make sure that we are satisfied and then we can click finish. Okay, as you'll see, the VM shows up and it's being question marked and then it's created. Next, with PuTTY, we're going to use the QM import disk command. We're going to QM import disk 109. I typed it out on Notepad and then I'm going to paste it in. So we can see it as it does it. I sped it up a little bit so that we are able to see how fast we could get this done. And this is where we're converting this to uh, QCAL2 format, a readable format by Proxmox that will allow us to uh, execute this and, and boot this machine on the Proxmox server. Okay, I'm just checking a few things around while that finishes up the process. I'm checking to see if a disk shows up or anything like that. I noticed that my drive was full, and in the process of doing this video, I ended up having to delete some VMs that I was not using. Okay. Now, we're going to add the unused disk to VM. and Proxmox, we have to assign the disk we imported to the virtual machine. So it's just basically there for you to select the uh, bus drive device and then add it. It's, then we're going to set the VM to boot from the imported drive. In Proxmox, we must tell the system to boot from the newly imported disk drive. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to go into edit boot order. I'm going to select the drive and then I'm going to edit the boot order by moving it to the top by dragging and dropping it, as you see here. If you're having problems booting, be sure to check that the BIOS is set to boot OVMF UEFI. Okay. And it's done here for you. And after having problems booting, I got it to boot with the UEFI mode. Okay. So as you see, Windows is beginning to start for us. And we should have that starting screen soon. All right, there we have it. We have our initial screen for Windows 10 and our Proxmox. I'm going to go ahead and log into this. And you see we have on the desktop what we imported. Everything's exactly the same. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button on your way in and out. Feel free to share this video with a friend, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed.
Thanks for watching and have a great day.